So we are still on the topic of data cleaning. If you have watched my previous video, we were talking about uh, removing blank responses. And in this video, we're going to talk about straight lining. Yeah. What do we mean by straight lining? Straight lining is when you give your survey questionnaire to a respondent and the questions are in a Likert scale. And what the respondent does is that throughout the questions, he either give you a 3333, 44444 or 11111. Okay, uh, now that's a serious issue. So what we have to do is we have to remove, yeah? So that's a way to do it, yeah? And we can do it using Microsoft Excel. In order for us to determine straight lining, we're going to use standard deviation. Yeah, so I put an equal sign. I've put here standard deviation. So we're going to calculate standard deviation for all the questions, yeah? That was the responses that were in the form of Likert scale yeah and I click enter so you see uh, what Microsoft Excel has done is that they have calculated the um, standard deviation so I want the standard deviation for all yeah so just at the square box here I have double tap now what happens is that okay if the value of standard deviation is zero it means that okay that particular respondent has given you same responses throughout all the items. Okay, so we need to determine. So what we do is that, how do we determine? Yeah, let me enlarge for you. We select this column. Yeah, the entire column here. I would go to again, sort. This time I'll pick up sort smallest to largest. Yeah sort so can you see microsoft excel has already sorted out for me so can you see the first four responses okay the standard deviation is zero so what does this zero indicates can you see all the items yeah that the respondent has answered are all same this is what we call straight lining yeah so what i have to do is i need to remove the first four responses so i will click here delete so once I've deleted, yeah, once I've deleted, so I've cleaned my data to an extent, yeah. So I can actually remove this part here, which is the straight lining. We don't need it anymore. You can delete, yeah. And now we want to rearrange back. Can you see all the IDs now? They are not arranged. I can actually rearrange back the ID again. I can go to sort here, yeah. Sorry, you can go to sort. Okay, from smallest to largest. You expand the data. So it's already sorted out. But what happens is that, yeah, in between just now, we have deleted some response. Okay, so therefore, the items here, okay, the ID here might not be in a, what we call this, appropriate order. Yeah, okay, some of the uh, IDs might be missing. So, what you can do is, okay, you can rearrange back the IDs, okay, but what I would prefer is I would remain the IDs. Why? Because these are the exact, okay, exact number, okay, of the IDs, okay, so that if there's going to be any issues, I can always go back to the um, questionnaire, yeah. But let's say if you would want to sort this ID accordingly, yeah, let me just search for you where would be one of the IDs missing? Yeah, I remember just now we removed a 60 just now. So we have 61. You see, we have 63. Then it goes to 65. So it means that if you go below here, 262, yeah, but it's 256 here. Yeah, so it means that uh, it's 255 responses. It's not 262 responses. Yeah. Now, what you can do is you can actually sort this as well. Yeah. So, how do we do it? Let me show it to you. Right. You can select the column here. Okay. So, this time you won't select the ID. Okay. You just, okay, your shift command. Okay. You press together. Yeah, shift and command. You click together and then you put the arrow down. Okay. So, you have reselected the entire row. So once the entire row is already selected, what you have to do is you go to this section here. Can you see here? Okay. Fill here. Yeah. You go to the drop down menu. 
and you click on series and then you click OK so now the series is already being amended yeah let's go to our 60 just now yeah that was what was missing is it was it 64 you see now 61 62 63 64 and if we go right to the bottom you can see that it has already helped us to rearrange two five five yeah so what you should do next okay once your data is already cleaned you've already selected the entire data here okay so once you've already selected the data you copy so in my spss file remember i had my variables yeah and i had my data view i've copied my data from excel and i will paste it over here paste right so my data is already being settled over here and i have already settled two issues which is blank responses and also straight lining